Hey YouTube, what's up everybody? Uh, making a video here about this RAM. PNY DDR4 16 gigabyte stick, 32 megahertz uh, speed, class latency 22, 1.2 volt, uh, volts, or CL22, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is, I bought two of these by the way. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna upgrade this laptop uh, to 32 gigs. There's 16 gigs currently in here. And I'm going to upgrade 32. I think the uh, maximum RAM for this is 64 gigs. But I really don't need 64 gigs on a little notebook like this. So 32 gigs should be good. Anyways, uh, this RAM, as you can see, is compatible with 3200, 266, 2400, and uh, 2133 megahertz. It says buy two for optimized performance. And this is PNY Performance RAM, DDR4. You can see here, here are the numbers for it, the part number, 16 gigabytes. I think this is the biggest one they make. I don't know if they make a 32 gig model, a 32 gig stick, but 16 gigs is pretty, pretty big, as you can see here. Uh, let's look at, the, look at the back. DDR4, 1.2 volts, 16 gigs, XMP support, no XMP support. Uh, so it's not XMP supported, basically. A PC type notebook speed compatible with 3200, 3200, uh, 266, 24, 21, 33. Sorry about that. Uh, single channel. Uh, it says single channel. I'm, I'm just guessing maybe if you add one stick, it's single channel. If you add two sticks, it's dual channel. We'll test that out in CPU Z if it runs in dual channel or not. Uh, latency 22. So the latency is actually pretty high in this RAM. And. Compatible with Windows 11 or older. Uh, gives the information here how to install it, pny.com. So let's do it. Let's open this and install it in the notebook here. As you can see, um, let's take it out of the package. So we took the RAM out of the package. As you can see, this is how it looks up close. Laptop RAM. And you can see it has these little chips. Each chip is one gigabyte. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a total of 16 gigabytes of uh, RAM. Uh, usually, uh, you don't see this in RAM, or actually, you do in some of them. But in a lot of them, you don't see it like this on covered on both sides. Anyways, let's open the uh, computer up and let's insert it in. So as you can see, I opened up the computer. The RAM slots are here. You can see it tells you how to install them. Remember, install them one side in first, push it all the way in, then push it down. Then these clips on the side should hold it in place. And you can see PNY uh, 16 gig DDR4 3200 PC 425600 CL 22222252 1.5 volts, 1.2 volts, sorry. And you can see here, here's the other one installed. It's installed backwards. So you have it installed. Make sure it's correctly put in. Um, and let's close the computer up and we'll sh uh, fire it up and see and test it out in CPU Z, see if it's dual channel. Uh, so let's, let's do that right away right now. Okay, so we got the computer right here. Uh, let's fire it up. I have not fired this up off camera, I have not tested it. So this is just test to see if it turns on. Power button in there. We have power as displayed on there. Let's see if we get an image on the screen. Oh. There we go. We got an image on the screen that took about probably like 15 seconds to power up. It's normal when you install a uh, higher capacity RAM for the system to take longer. We get an alert here. We get an alert, alert. The amount of system memory has changed. So you go continue, BIOS setup, diagnostics. So let's actually go to the uh, BIOS setup and we'll actually check to see if the system recognizes 32 gigs of RAM on this laptop. So let's just wait a minute. We got the Dell logo. Yes, I have a Dell Inspiron. Um, notebook so let's go down here and we'll go and we'll look at it here oh. 
okay let's go to the ram ram installed 32 uh 3000 oh sorry 32 gigabytes of ram available memory 32564 uh basically um takes them off uh speed 3200 and is it dual channel this is dual channel right here so that's perfect we got sd ram ddr4 ram slot 16 gigs in one slot second slot 16 gigs in the second slot so it looks like we are running it in dual channel as it says right here so let's actually fire up the computer and go to cpuz and find out if it works so we'll go to apply and let's exit out of this <coughs> This is all done real world testing without any um, having the uh, any of the video edited basically. So we're looking at a cold raw boot with new RAM, 32 gigabytes, 3200 megahertz RAM on here. It's basically the uh, highest RAM that a laptop or a computer um, DDR4 would go up to. Of course, you can get L. Uh, LP DDR4X and it goes up to way way higher than that but for just regular DDR4 SD RAM you're looking at 3200 megahertz would be the um, the fastest okay so that turned on perfect <clears throat> let's check out our ta task task manager sorry about that go with task manager Oop. okay task manager performance memory let's actually make this bigger Memory, it is reading it at 32 gigabytes of RAM. Sorry, I can barely see that for the autofocus. You see right now, uh, right now 5.3 being used, available 26 gigs. 32 megahertz, 2 out of 8 so dim. Hardware reserve, 277 megabytes. Tells us the speed there, cached, page file, and non-paged. So you can tell here it's, it's recognizing 32 gigabytes at 3200 megahertz okay let's check out the cpu z and find out if it is dual channel or not okay we'll look at the memory tab and we'll look here ddr4 32 gigabytes channel dual channel 2x 64 bit memory 768 um <clears throat> or it keeps fluctuating up and down uh ram frequencies clock speeds so it is recognizing it as dual channel ram if it would have been single channel this would have been a one times 64 bit and there are computers that don't support dual channel they're only single channel for example, the computers that only have one RAM slot available, those are all single channel. Even though they're a newer generation, they're still single channel. But yes, as you can see, it runs at dual channel. So actually, this RAM, PNY, I got this at $45 uh, each stick. So we're looking at about $90 for dual channel, 32 gigabytes of RAM. At thirty at thirty two hundred megahertz, I know you're probably gonna buy, a lot of people are gonna buy this RAM and you're gonna go and do these tests that I have done it done on here and you're gonna see it run at a less frequency. For example, some people will see it at two sixty six, some people will see it at twenty four hundred, some people will see it at twenty one thirty three, and a lot of people are saying, why why is mine not running at thirty two uh, hundred megahertz like yours? Why is mine running at uh, lower speed well it depends if your processor supports it if your motherboard supports 3200 megahertz then your computer would run it if your computer only supports let's say um, 266 then it'll run at 266 or if it runs at 2400 or run at 2400 or if it only supports 2133 it'll run at 2133 and unfortunately with a laptop you can't really enable XMP and even if you can this RAM doesn't support it, so you'll be stuck with whatever the motherboard uses on your computer. I'm fortunate enough that this computer supports 3200 megahertz right out of the box, and I don't have to do anything. 
to change it or go into BIOS or anything, it automatically works. So yes, do I recommend you buy this RAM? Uh, yes, it's actually a very good cost-effective RAM, only $45 at as of this taping. <laughs> Best Buy, you can buy it online, bestbuy.com, or you can go in the store, but be sure to check your uh, store's local inventory before you actually buy this RAM because I had to actually order one stick of RAM to be delivered at my house because they only had one stick available in my Best Buy. So I had to wait for another stick to come by. But if you have two sticks of them and your computer supports 30, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, then I really, really, really recommend you buy this RAM. Anyways, guys, if you have any more questions about this RAM, please ask me about it. It's a really good deal. It's not the fastest, not the slowest. It's just good, you know. I mean, the latency is pretty high, but what can we expect with value RAM that you can buy? But it does run at 3200 megahertz dual channel mode. Uh, anyways, guys, do you have any more questions? Please feel free to ask me. Um, have any more comments? Comment about it. Uh, if you guys have used the RAM, tell me what your experience is. But like I said, I've searched everywhere on uh, YouTube and I cannot find anything on this. So I might as well decide to make a video myself. All right. Well, have a good day. See you later. Remember, PNY performance ram and this is the 3200 megahertz kit they have i mean single stick they have other sticks 2666 um 2400 and 2133 but if your computer supports 3200 buy this okay well have a good day guys